Okay, now that we have the Ammo by MIG liquid mask, it's time to start working on the upper part of her body. I don't have any old paintbrushes, so I'm just gonna use a Q-tip and get the mask on here, right on the crest, and then around this band on her neck. Gotta let that dry for 20 minutes, and then we'll paint up the rest of the violet. The bat symbol is covered up, so that's ready to go. I did around the neckline. I know it's not gonna be perfect, so I'm actually gonna have to do a little touch up by hand, but once I do a clear coat, it should blend it in. And I'm not too worried about the back because the back here, the hair is gonna be covering this whole thing and the cape and stuff like that. So once this is all dried up, then we get to move on and start painting this. She's all masked up with the ammo by MIG. It's dry. I know it's not gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have to do a little touch up around the collar maybe a little bit on the bat symbol itself there. So I'm gonna spray the violet and then we're gonna see how well it comes out. Moment of truth is taking off the masking and see how that did. I was messing around with the black, trying to do the creases in here to bring those out more. They are just too shallow to get anything done, so I'm just gonna leave those as it is. The pockets here, I'm gonna paint those black and the little zipper parts. We'll probably paint yellow or might do those black too. But let's get to taking this off. That was nice and easy. I do have a little touch up to do around the edges. Like I said, it wasn't gonna be perfect, so I'll just take my brush on that, and that looks pretty darn good. And that comes off really, really easy. Again, I'm gonna do some brush work underneath, and then when I flat coat it, that'll all fall into place and look good. So I'm gonna do a little detail painting on this, and I'll show you that when it's done. I touched up everything on the collar and on the bat symbol painted it all in, we put the yellow for the zippers and the black on the pockets. I wasn't gonna do those lines, but I painstakingly Hi. by hand put those in. It, it took a while, some of them are a little wonky, but there's not much I can do about that because like I said, the lines weren't deep, but they were deep enough where you can see them and I thought it looked a little silly without trying to get at least something in there. So we have a little bit of detail on our jacket. The next thing is to cover this up again with masking, then I'm gonna flat coat it and then I'm going to put the satin coats on the yellow. We've made some more progress on Batgirl. I was gonna go satin with the pieces over here, the Bat logo and the collar, but I kinda like them flat. I'm gonna leave the equipment in the satin. Now, speaking of the equipment, the one horrible thing about this kit is the keys, how the keys were made. They don't fit in properly. You have to do a lot of sanding down to get them to fit. And the bands that go from the pouch to the pouch, they are really bad on the keys and the little notches. So what I did was I cut the notches off and I just CA'd the pieces together. So I was doing it on film, but I was getting very frustrated and I almost broke it a couple times. So I just didn't do it on film, but basically let me show you. Okay, if you can see that little notch there, that's supposed to go into a slit on either of the pouches. Just cut that little thing off and CA it together. It's a lot easier than trying to open up the little slit on the pouch. It just takes forever and it's tedious work. So I just planned on doing that right now and it worked out fine. The easiest way I found to do this was to lay her down like this, pretty much flat like that. And then I just took a pair of tweezers and I used CA on both ends and put it on. I hit it with some kicker. This way it's sealed up really quick. The only problem is I do have a little glue bubble over here. I'm gonna try to sand it a little bit. I don't wanna go crazy. Um, I'm just probably gonna put a little yellow paint over there and call it what it is. It's gonna be done. You may see the little bubble, you may not. It's for my shelf, so I'm not too worried about it. So let's move on to the next part of the build. The original hands we finished up is on her now. The problem is it seems that these printed out a little short, so I'm having a tough time making the ropes match up. I'm gonna paint it and hopefully I can get these guys to stretch a little bit and we'll get the ropes on and finish up our other hand. Her left hand is all done up. The rope is painted. I put some wash in between the rope there and try to do some highlights down there and up here. 
So the next thing to do is get this on her and then deal with the rope going from front to back, which is not gonna be an easy process. Now, unfortunately, from printing, either the rope shrank, the resin shrank while curing or during the printing process, or that this rope was not made long enough. Like I said, if you look at the pictures of the one that the creator built of this, he took the ropes out of the hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use resin to bond this piece of rope to the rope in her hand, hopefully extend it enough where we can get it onto the other side of the rope and make it look natural. What I'm doing now is I put resin on both ends and I'm just curing it and then I'll build up layer after layer to connect those two points, do a little sands work and then paint the brown. Now we're gonna end up doing the same thing on this side. We're gonna end up getting the rope over here. It really doesn't mate up that well, but once we get the resin on there, we can fix that up. Right here is where I use the resin to bond each of these resin pieces. I just put a little bit in. I use the UV flashlight to set it up and then I put a few more thin layers to bond each side to each side and we were good to go. And we did the same thing over here. So now I can paint this brown and touch everything up. We got the half of the rope done, all touched up nice and neatly. Then I kind of got ahead of myself and I got the cape on her. So the cape is looking good. The last thing we got to do is get that last piece of rope to come on over this way and the lower half of her body will be done. The ammo by MIG Flat Black is on here. I've still got to get a satin coat on here, but it's kind of plain to me. So I think the edges around here, around the bottom, I'm either going to do a yellow or I'm going to use that blue I used on the Skeleton Warrior just to give it a little bit something else. And I might paint a little bit of silver or something at the edge there just to make it look like it's attached with a bracket. So Batgirl's grappling hook is done. I put a semi-gloss coat on it, but it's still wet, so it looks kind of glossy. So hopefully that dries to the right finish. And I also use the Ammo by MIG Blue on the edge, which I'll show you in a second, unless you can see it kind of right there. Actually, that's a better view of it. I don't remember the name of it. I've used it so much. I've actually worn the name off the label, but I wanted to give the grappling hook just a little bit extra something on there. So I use this blue that I like from Ammo. And here we go. We have Batgirl pretty much three quarters done. Again, I used resin here to hold on this rope because the pins really aren't that good. I did the best I can. It's a little wobbly over there, but not too bad. So this will be over here like this. You can see it's a little bouncy. The last thing we have to do, the two parts are her head and her hair, and we'll finally get this girl completed. Well, thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out the next installment of the Batgirl build. We're about three quarters of the way done. Next up is her head and her eyes. And as you guys voted on it, we're gonna be doing the anime eyes. It's my first attempt at anime eyes. So I'm gonna to have to do some research and hopefully they come out pretty well. And if I do them decently, hopefully you guys learn something from my mistakes and all that other good jazz. And again, thank you to everybody that has been subscribing to the channel. We really appreciate it. And especially those thumbs up they tell the algorithm, hey, we like this content and it spreads it to other modelers. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and the like button. It really helps us out. And if you got any questions or anything like that, throw it in the comments section below. And you may have seen these people scrolling here or over here. Those are our members on the channel. If you're not sure what that is, go to the homepage of the channel, check out the join button. And if you wanna help us out running the sites and doing giveaways and all that other stuff, feel free to join up. There's no pressure. It's totally up to you guys. So make sure you're taking care of yourselves out there, everybody. Be good, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, and bye-bye, everybody.